Miami's hot, 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 hot fire. Miami's hot, 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 hot fire. What's going on, guys? Okay, so the Real Housewives of Miami reunion looks are here, and they are fire. Miami's hot, 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 hot. Fire. Okay, so let's break them down because they are juicy. Okay, so first up we have Adriana. Adriana, friend of. Adriana has long, dark hair. It's wavy. Looks like she's got like an ombre vibe. It looks a little caramelly. She's got some feather or it looks like a boa. At first I thought it was feathers around her arm, but she's got a little boa. She's got some a very gold detailed leafy dress. I think it's fire. Fire, fire. She's got little black shoes, little black heels with little bows on them. I think this is a solid, a solid look. I think I'm going to give her like a, a good eight out of five. I think her body looks incredible. I think the dress is gorgeous. The detail's nice. Um, the hair is oak. Okay. The hair looks nice. The color, I feel like she could have brightened it up a little bit more. I'm not a fan of the caramelly blonde. So to me, that's not what I love the most, but this set looks incredible. It's very like Gatsby. I feel like that's kind of the theme of what's going on here. Then we have Alexia. I do not like Alexia's look at all. She's wearing this cutout dress. It's black on the bottom. The bubbies are, they have like a, um, a strap of white to cover each of the bubbies. And then she has this weird like plunging neck thing that to me kind of looks like it was supposed to be maybe like a tie, but I think it ultimately looks like a dolphin tail. Maybe that was the intention or like a mermaid tail because it's Miami and Miami and dolphins. And I don't know. I'm not loving this look. I just feel like the neck is a little, it plunges a little too much. We don't get enough of the bubbies. The cutout on the side is just a little meh. And I just feel like it's like this weird, awkward tie slash dolphin tail like I think it could have it had the potential to like almost be there but it's not quite hitting you know like it's not a fully baked cake yet the bread didn't rise so we're gonna throw this in the garbage then we have Gertie and OMG Gertie is like she looks banging her body looks incredible she's showing so much skin it's like a it's basically a chain dress it's that's basically what she's wearing is just a bunch of chains that are like formed into a dress. Like there is no fabric on this dress at all. But my God, does she look incredible? Her hair looks great. It, I love this short sleek. I guess it's not too sleek. It's a little wavy, but I like this look on her. It's got a little volume to it, but it's not overdone. And like, I'm just trying to figure out like how the nipples are not showing. Like she has to be wearing pasties, but I feel like on camera, you're going to be able to see the pasties. No, unless they put like makeup over the pasties and they put makeup on her boobs and her boobs are full. Her bubbies are full of, of like a, a bronzer or like a, like a foundation, like a body foundation, like the, which they usually do especially the ladies of Beverly Hills, they usually do that. So I'm assuming there's a lot of body makeup that she's wearing to cover up the nipples. But like free the nipples. She looks great. I think Gertie is like definitely in the top tier. Then we have Julia. Also looks, I think, incredible. I think Julia, as much as I despise her on the show and as much as like I'm not a fan of Julia on the show, I think this this vibe, it's almost like a Princess Leia when she gets captured by Jabba the Hutt kind of gives me some of those vibes. It's a little gladiator. It's a little warrior princess. Um, slightly futuristic like Princess Leia. I actually think it looks good on her. Some people may say it's maybe not age appropriate, but I mean, look at her waist. Look at her boobs. Look at her, her, like her body just looks incredible. And Julia is not the type of person to be glam. Julia is not the type of person to be sexy like this. Like that's just not the character that we get of her on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So I'm very much living for this. I think the hair looks great. The makeup looks great. It's not overdone. Um, maybe it is a little, I mean, I don't know what is age appropriate. I think she looks incredible. I'm going to give her a solid, let's see. Oh, I didn't give ratings to the last ones. Alexia, I'm going to give a two. A two out of 10. Gertie, I'm going to give a nine and a half out of 10. Actually, I think I'm going to give her a full 10. Well, I know. I feel like there's just something that's missing. Like it's all there. Like I would have loved like just like a pop of something, maybe like a pop of a color. Um, It's very, very sexy. It's very hot. It's very, I'm going to give it a nine and a half because there's just something that I feel like 
I don't know. It's almost perfection. That's what I mean. It's almost perfection. Okay, Julia, I'm going to give a solid eight and a half. I think she looks incredible. Kiki. Okay, Kiki, 11 out of 10. I think Kiki, the hair, like it very much fits with the Gatsby theme, but like Gatsby meets modern day, which I, I feel like was kind of the theme of this. I mean, the pose, the dress, like she's showing just enough skin. She's covering all the all the parts that we can't be flashing on TV. Like it is just giving me everything. The color looks gorgeous on her. The way that it fits her is spectacular. I love the 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 shoes and how they're like very simple, but they are like a bright silver at the same time. See the jewelry with like the bright ear, the sparkly earrings with the sparkly silver shoes with this dark like reddish maroon sort of what is it? It, it could possibly be like a suede is what it looks like. Yeah, that combo with like the dark suede with like the sparkly silver, the, that contrast, I think looks incredible. I think that's what Gertie's outfit is missing just slightly. Like, that's what I mean. Like, there has to have been like a, 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 a bit of color, like just something to kind of, you know, give it some bit of a juxtaposition. Whereas the white shoes are cute, but they're a little too similar to the actual chain dress. Uh, so I'm going to give Kiki 11 out of 10. I think her hair looks incredible. Her makeup looks incredible. This vibe that she's giving us, sultry, sexy, everything, Miami fire. Um, Lisa. <sighs> I'm very disappointed in Lisa's... <clears throat> very disappointed in Lisa's look. Um... Her body looks incredible. Like, the figure is good. I know a lot of people are saying she looks really skinny. I think she's naturally just very skinny. She's a very slim person. So I, you know, I wasn't really taken aback by that. And she's going through a divorce. A divorce. It's a stressful time. Like, you know, you usually, this is your, po- your divorce body, your post-marriage body. I don't love this look, though. I really don't. Um... The dress, like, I don't like the leotard vibe. Like, it's very, like, Kourtney Kardashian at her wedding. You know, she kind of had that, like, leotard vibe with, like, the lace. I didn't love it. I don't love this look. I feel like the top part, the leotard, looks a little cheap because it looks very, like, sequence-y. And so it's not really giving that much for me. Um, I mean, maybe if the whole dress were this or something. I just, I don't love that it, it looks like she is wearing a fancy bathing suit and then has like a little caftan wrapped around her waist, you know, and I'm just not feeling it. The gloves and the jewelry, like the hands and the gloves feel very glam, but this dress does not feel very glam. This dress feels like sexy Vegas, you know, go into the beach and we're going to take off the skirt. We're going to take off the little caftan and then we're going to dip our toes into the water and maybe do like a cute photo shoot. The jewelry and the gloves aren't doing it for me. Marisol. Oh, so at least as I would give maybe a, a two out of 10. It's just too many. It's like three different pieces of an outfit that we tried to pull together. Two out of 10. Marisol. I think Marisol looks incredible. I don't love her hair, though. The hair just feels so understated, whereas the dress, I think, is gorgeous. I love the embellishment along the um, along the seams. I kind of like this little boxy thing that she has going on. I like the shoulder pads. I think that's going to look really well on camera. We haven't seen these on camera yet, but I think that's going to look really well on camera. Um, the pop of color with the nail polish, I think looks great. The jewelry feels very glam. I like the color of her lipstick. It gives the pink a little pop of color. I just don't love the hair. I don't know what hair I would have given with this, but I don't love the hair. It just feels a little too blah. She kind of looks like Kate Chastain in this photo. Uh, Nicole. Okay, so Marisol, we're going to give her, I would say, a 7 out of 10. She was a solid contender, but there's just something about the top that doesn't fully land. Um, Nicole, it was a, it's a nice dress in theory, but I don't love this look. I don't love this sleek hair. I just don't like this hair on women in general because it kind of just like, it just looks weird. It makes the shape of their head look weird and it makes it look bigger than what it actually is her makeup's a little too simple for me too I would have loved a little more color on her cheeks a little bit or maybe just like a little pop of color in her lip um 
Her eyes look great. Her brows look great. Hair color looks fine. I like her with the brighter blonde. Um, I just think the darker hair is a little basic. The dress, I don't love. I think it's nice. Um, Shoes look cute. Um, Jewelry looks cute. The color of her her manicure looks cute, but that's just what it feels like. It, like, it feels cute. And the hard thing with dresses like this that have all of this, like, glitter and embellishment is it usually cuts out your figure, and it makes you look boxy. And I feel like she has such an incredible body, and she's got such great curves that this just makes her look like a box, a potato sack. Um, like a very fancy, cute, chic potato sack with shoulder pads. That's what this feels like. I'm sure it was an expensive dress. The embellishment looks incredible. I just don't love the colors and I don't love the way that it fits her and I don't love her hair and I love Dr. Nicole, but this look for me was a little disappointing. Um, She still looks great, so I'm going to give her a 6 out of 10. Larsa. Okay, Larsa looks fire. Larsa looks incredible. Um, I like this look on her. I think... The lips look great. The makeup looks great. You know, she's got a little color in her cheeks. Her eye makeup looks incredible. The jewelry is is fire. Um, I kind of like this. I guess similar to Gertie, I just feel like I wish there were like a little pop of color or something. Maybe just like, I don't know, just like maybe like a brighter lip or just something that just doesn't make it look so... I'm not one that like loves the, what is it, monochromatic look where it's all kind of one color. I'm not somebody that particularly loves that vibe, um, but I do think Larsa looks good. I would give her a solid eight, maybe even an eight and a half out of 10. Is that all of them? Yeah. So overall, in ranking everybody, I'm going to put Kiki at the top. After Kiki, I'm going to put Larsa, Adriana, Marisol, Julia, Oof. Oh, sorry. Gertie needs to go up there, too. Okay. So we have Kiki at the very top. I'm actually going to give... Oof. Number two is hard between Gertie and and Larsa. I'm going to... I mean, Kiki's clearly my favorite. Um, I'm going to give number two to Gertie. Number three to Larsa. Number four to Adriana. Um, I'm actually going to give number five to Julia. Number six to Marisol, just because the hair is just like not giving for me. But Julia, I feel like really kind of brings it with this whole vibe. Like she's really spicing things up. And then Dr. Nicole. And then who's the worst? Is it Lisa or is it Alexia? I'm going to put Lisa because Lisa at least still looks sexy and she still gives it. Marisol, I think her look is the worst. I just, I don't like it. This neck thing is just not the dolphin. The more I look at it, the more I see it. It's just... I don't like it. And the hair is just basic. You know, the hair doesn't do anything for me. So it's not like the hair saved it. All right. Those are my rankings. Kiki at the top. Alexia at the bottom. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know which looks you really loved. Let me know which looks you really did not love. And yeah, I guess we count down to the finale and we count down to the reunion. I believe there are, what, two episodes left before the finale? I think we have this week and then three more episodes. Yeah. I believe so. And then we get the the um, reunion in March. All right. Miami's hot, 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 hot fire.